Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about teaching the short vowel sounds. So when you're first starting to teach beginning reading, it is very important to start with the short vowel sounds, as vowels have many sounds. Short sound, a long sound, and a regular sound. So, I'm going to go over the short vowel sounds for the adults that may not know what it sounds like. Ah, eh, eh. Ah, uh, ah, eh, eh, ah, uh. So as you can see, it sounds very similar and children and adults alike tend to get confused in the beginning with the short vowel sounds. So in order to get children to learn it and to see the difference, I have created this chart and it's just a piece of cardboard and I have glued on some pictures that begin with that same sound so that the child can associate that short vowel sound with a particular word that starts with that sound. Ready to get started, Luke? All right, we also have some hand motions. Ready, Luke? What is the first one here? Uh, ah, uh, ah, apple. ah, apple. Uh, ah, uh, ah, apple. ah, ah, apple. apple. The next one is? Eh, eh, elephant. Eh, eh, elephant. Good. What about this one? Eh, 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 itch. Eh, 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 itch. The next one is ah, 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 octopus. Ah, ah, octopus. Umbrella. Good. The next one is ah uh, ah uh, umbrella, like you're holding an umbrella. Ah uh, ah uh, uh, umbrella ah uh, ah uh, uh, umbrella. Let's go over it again. Ah eh eh ah uh, ah. Uh. All right. Ready, Luke? I'm gonna call out some sounds now. What's this one? Um. Do you remember? Ah uh, ah uh, apple. Good. What about this one? Eh, eh, eh. Yes, what about this one? Eh, uh, uh, umbrella. Good, what about this one? Uh, uh, octopus. Uh, uh, octopus. What about this one? Eh, eh, elephant. Eh, eh, elephant. Very good, give me five. So you continue going over the different vowel sounds and then just call them out of order to see if they've really learned them. Now we're going to go ahead and show you some activities with magnetic letters. I get the camera a little closer. All right, so here I have some magnetic letters so that the child can get to practice the short vowel sounds. Ready, Luke? Let's start over here with this row of letters. Can you tell me the sound and then make the hand motion? Okay, but let's start only with this row here. Ready? Ah, 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 apple. Your turn. Go ahead. All right. What about this one? Can you tell me the sound? Uh, 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 elephant. Uh, 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 elephant. All right. What about this one? Uh, 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 Good. What about this one? Uh, 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 octopus. Ah, 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 octopus. What about this one? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, umbrella. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, umbrella. Good job. Now, it's very important to have them continue practicing with the magnetic letters because this is going to be very helpful for reading. Later on, you can have them read full words and work from their binders. Let me go ahead and bring the binder out. So now the child is going to be practicing reading the short vowel sounds with two letter words. Ready, Luke? And if you don't remember something, you could use your hand motions to remember the vowels. Well, I know it. You know it? Okay, go ahead and start at the top.
Very good. But if you have a child that, for example, is confusing the O and the A, uh, then you want to have them use their hand motions again to remember the short vowel sounds. If you guys want a copy of this binder, I'll link it below. It's our beginning reading binder. All right, let me go ahead and wrap it up. All right, so I hope you have enjoyed this video on teaching children the short vowel sounds. It can be very fun with the hand motions and with a little chart like this. And they will be on their way to always knowing the difference between the different vowel sounds. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you want this principle to create your own board, I'll link it below in the description box. Also, if you want a copy of the reading binder, I will also link it below in the description box. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't. Bye-bye.